What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. This week we have another van update for you guys. My name is Aubrey, this is HP. And as you guys know, over the last really kind of year period of time, we have been working on a camper conversion van. And so really over the last couple of weeks, we have been framing, we've been working on the floor and the most recent update has been a pretty significant one. I mean, it finally is starting to look like a van and that was the bed framing. So Obs has just jumped up there on our bed. Uh, she's sitting on top of three quarter inch maple wood uh, and uh, some big hefty two by four studs that we put up here as well. How does it feel up there? It feels super, super sturdy. I mean, it feels like, like we, you guys will notice the thumbnail image for this YouTube video. And we were like jumping up and down here to get the thumbnail image. And it was super sturdy while we were doing that. And I mean, as I'm sitting here, I feel, I feel like I'm supported. Do you feel comfortable with all 200 pounds of me up there with you? Yes, I would say so. I mean, it's, I use a lot of a lot of screws. So what we did for the bed is we actually started with these hefty two by fours going across. And I also supported those with some more two by fours going vertical and horizontal, and then some other ones to kind of connect it for added rigidity. That's what the frame is made out of, the general framing of it. Now we actually put this three quarter inch maple wood up top. So it's actually very, very thick. And this is gonna, it's actually a really nice finish too. I, I, I hate covering this up because it is nice maple, but. It's super nice, but now we're getting it all dirty. <laughs> it's getting all dirty and we got our muddy footprints on top as well. So yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, but this is what our bed is actually gonna go on top of. And we measured it in such a way for our garage that we're gonna put mountain bikes underneath and some other storage cabinets as well. And if we decide to bring the dogs along, we're also gonna put maybe Nico's kennel underneath there too. So he can have a nice comfy, cozy bed. <laughs> you got it. So we also put these uh, thick studs on the side of our walls and we secure them with the riv nuts so they are firmly secured, not going anywhere. This is probably gonna add some rigidity to the actual van just from our bedding alone. So it's definitely gonna be easier to drive when going up curvy hills and mountains and stuff. So uh, definitely a lot of room for activities down here. I am pumped to go ahead and get this bed finished because as you can see, we got our cabinets down below. It's starting to look like an actual van. I am stoked. How about you? Super stoked. So again, this is the bed. So the bed is not 100% complete. This is just the framing. The plan is to have storage down here to like finish it out. So you're not gonna see like any of this metal that's around here. We will have all of that finished out. It will look nice and complete. But this was like a huge, huge piece of the puzzle. And I feel like now the van is finally starting to look like a camper van, which is super cool, super exciting. So the only thing really left to do with the bed frame is to install this last board right here. We are going to do it tonight, but we are running out of daylight and we needed to record this video. So we are going to do that. And then the bed frame will be completely done at that point, which is super exciting. Yeah, it's starting to look like an actual van again. So the next thing that we did that is, I would say relatively minor. I mean, I guess it's not really minor. I guess it's pretty significant is we did a rough test fit of the cabinets. Now, the cabinets, we actually didn't plan on doing a rough fit. We're going out of town this week. And so as a result, we wanted to put the cabinets into the van to store them. But we got a decent idea of what the cabinets will look like. So you guys remember a couple of episodes ago, HP and I had some issues getting the cabinets. We went to Ikea. It was way too expensive. So we got them from Home Depot. And HP actually went and picked up the last cabinet today from Home Depot, and they are officially in the van here. So you can see here as we walk in, the floor is covered in... Uh mud you can even see some paw prints over there and that is because as we were working on it earlier we had a torrential downpour which you can see in the footage here so we went to go work on the van in here finish up the bed frame so we can finally get this video done with and it's like torrential downpouring it's like raining so hard it's kind of a blessing in disguise because we found out that the roof is leaking right here which we probably wouldn't have known had it not, had we not known it was raining. And uh, Nico jumped in here for shelter. shelter with us. So I think we're gonna go inside and, and go do some electrical stuff. Okay, you wanna grab him and just hold him so that he doesn't get all muddy? Nico. Can you get the door? Okay, ready? It's all right. He's scared, go. Blah. Smart 
one of the group. Huh? I cannot believe how quickly it started raining like that. This is like such an unseasonal rain for this time of year. It was instant. We've got all our cabinets put in. As you can see, they're a little wider, uh, but we knew they're gonna be this wide. So our plan is to actually cut, reduce the width because I'm a pretty hefty boy. And if I have to be squeezing in this just to get to my bed every day, it's not gonna work. So we're definitely gonna reduce a lot of the sizes because our water's gonna be on this side. And then these are just gonna be generic cabinets where we can put stuff on the inside as well. So the plan is to have the kind of like hot plate. We haven't really decided if we're gonna go the route of a hot plate or if we're gonna do like a built-in like little stove top thing yeah. we haven't really discussed that but this will be where that area is it can be used for like chopping hot plate if you have a coffee maker even just a charging station too on that side yeah 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 for sure and then this area what our thought was to use that as the sink and um yeah like hp mentioned we're probably going to be trimming these down like probably at least halfway yeah because this is just simply way too narrow mm -hmm. way too narrow so this needs to be cut but you can see here that the van is finally starting to come together. It actually is like finally looking like a camper, camper van. van, which is pretty exciting. We also had that leak that we showed in the earlier clip as well that needs to be addressed. And so there are some things here and there that need to be addressed. So that is this week's van update. I know that this is a bit different than the kind of normal update that we have for you guys, but we've just been kind of playing catch up with the van the last few days, really like the last week and a half. So getting the bed frame finished and getting at least the cabinets like preliminary fit was a huge, huge step in the right direction. So the next big steps that we need to tackle is number one, finish the bed framing. That should be super easy. We just need to secure like one more board. And number two is start on the electrical and that is HP's task. In fact, you can see all of the electrical stuff sitting in boxes over there. We also have some in our guest room as well. And so that will be a huge, huge task. And that is really the next step of the build. Now we will be doing a designated video talking about what we got for the electrical and HP of course will be showing you guys the entire process from start to finish. But like always, we appreciate you checking out this video. If you have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.